Hi, this is a video on um, how to settle um, for new um, comers um, who have stayed in my place a couple of months and moving out uh, to settle in new um, long-term apartment or apartment long-term accommodation. I used to get some um, questions or I willingly share this uh, tips. Um, so it's it depends on the um the family or or couple or person who um you know with the level of knowledge on on Toronto or kind of what kind of um um plans you have uh for for this new um um a home that uh, you decide to settle in I often recommend guests um, who kind of can't afford or don't want to kind of start purchasing huge furniture items. The reason, you know, often the guests are coming to settle in the uh, uh, Airbnb is you just, uh, you know, don't have any other of those furnishings. Um, so to start in a new place, you need to purchase... Um, many things, um, you know, excluding those uh, stationary items in, in Toronto, most of the houses or apartments you will be in, which include refrigerator, um, washer, uh, dryer, oven, cooker, um, those things. You need to purchase bed, mattresses, if you need a sofa, sofa. And bookstores, book bookcases, and all the you know furnitures and um, kitchen utensils and etc. Uh, I highly recommend, for instance, those uh, for instance junk, uh, bulky stuff like mattresses. I noticed that some people who came to settle um, here not permanently, but even like. In, you know not even one year as like with a limited maybe contract you have if you came here for only for a year or you, you're uncertain about uh, what's going to happen after a year or two uh, or in terms of even your family structure I highly recommend you start kind of buying uh, urgent item from garage sale uh, Garage sale, I love if you have uh, fine eyes, which of course there are offline version and online version. And offline version is, for instance, if you're in the beaches area, there is a beaches metro newspaper and always list those um, weekly kind of advertisement of, of garage sales when spring comes. So not in the winter, but <clears throat> I used to love those things because... Um, there are really, really amazing items are uh, on display in the garage sales and uh, many of them are so good uh, in terms of quality, but just homeowners just doing it for fun and because they don't want it any longer or want to get rid of it. Some, so some of really good furnitures, dining table or study tables are purchased from actually local garage sale, including my farmer's table. Um, that I'm using currently in my main house uh, is also from those contexts. Um, what you could have paid $2,000, you pay for like 200 And what you could have paid for at least 300 you pay for uh, 50 And so um, those items that doesn't have any upholstery items, fabric related, you can purchase it from garage sale, right? And of course, offlines are in that case that way, so you can you can look at and touch them. Of course, quality is very important, so you don't need to go for cheaply made IKEA, which you know, you have good uh, fine eyes. Sometimes you want to see solid wood uh, items, but anyways, anything sturdy that good for you is going to cost no more than twenty dollars. And there are a lot of online versions like Kizeji. Uh, it's very popular where some people are just giving away stuff before they move in. So one of the people, people, family I know of, I given this advice and they just got something for free or something very little, like two hundred for entire like um, furnitures and uh, and sets uh, that needed for that their new apartment. Um, so. 
And one caution, uh, in case you are a young student or someone who are young, doesn't have that much of experience of purchasing many of things. Uh, matrices are something that is so um, bulky and heavy to transport. So nowadays there are a lot of uh, versions uh, that you can, how do you call it, those memory form are uh, something that you can actually deflate and roll. But even memory form bed, sometimes I notice that those who came here for a year or two, they find it very uh, cumbersome to get rid of. And you cannot sell easily the mattresses because of hygiene issue. So what I often recommend um, and to couple or people who just uh, need to move out of my Airbnb and, uh, and settle in one of their own apartment, just get an air bed, air mattresses, which is now there's such a good quality. So you just start kind of um, air, air mat living in with air mattresses, which I sometimes find it so um, comfortable to to stay. Um, and those are deflatable. And, and even after you decided what kind of mattresses you want to buy and you move to more permanent accommodations that you want to live more than a year, you can actually purchase proper bed then and it, it, you know no, no one will blame you to um to use um um for using the air mattresses which is so comfortable and advanced nowadays so anyways that's my little tips bye and all the kind of you know the cups and even plates and those things of course it depends on your taste but uh, garage sales are very good, but uh, or you know IKEA's um, kind of uh, everyday set uh, comes with all different sized plates and those things, which I remember cost like very uh, little, like uh, maybe I don't know fifty for the entire set, you know six large uh, uh, plates, small, smaller plates, and six of the. Uh, what they call cereal bowl and etc so don't spend like two thousand dollars to start to furnish new apartments if you are uncertain after one year if you think you want to move to a new place because this you can actually spend money after you settle in a much more um, permanent accommodation by or transport because if if it's not 